Hey guys, my name is Jennifer and I am Genevieve Designs. Today we're going to make some fun little inserts for these two little flip pockets here. And we're going to do a little bit of simple matting on the inside here. And this is the Basically Amazing uh, Foundations. This is the A album. There's A, B, C, and D. This is the largest. This is the Pretty Mosaic Paper Collection by Prima. That's what we're using for this album. And in the last video, I believe we made the paper clay dangly thingies, dangly bits. So we're gonna be using some of that uh, here in this video. So I will link that last video up here and down below if you wanna check it out first. Uh, there's also a playlist specifically for this album. It starts from the beginning with the intro to the templates and works its way all the way through to the end, step by step. And I will link that uh, up here in the cards and down below in the description box. So the templates are available in my Etsy shop. I have that link down below. And as always, or as always, or as I'm trying to, <laughs> add the exact base pages that you're gonna need for each video, that'll be down in the description box below. Also, it might just say show more, or it might just be a little arrow next to the title of the video if you're on your phone. So if you hit that little arrow, a whole, a whole, um, a whole section will drop down that has all of that information and links in it. So the only thing we're going to need for this video, I think, the only base pages, is going to be page 43D. This is the small envelope. This is not the small envelope. This is the envelope for the D-sized album. And um, there's two. This is part one. So there's two on this page. And then on page 44D, there's the part two of that size envelope. So there's two pieces on this page as well. So the 44D, I printed the light wood. I cut them both, I've already assembled one. I cut them both out, I separated them, I scored and inked and taped uh, the three tabs. It kind of looks like there should have been a tab on this side, but there is not a tab on this side here. So again, I've already put one together, so that's why you're not seeing both pieces. So the 44D, I printed the light wood, and then the 43D, I printed just on plain white cardstock. Um, so here's one, and I've already, again, used the other. Also, I wanted to point out, this mat, this this page can be matted with the large cutoff pieces when you cut your 12 by 12 pattern paper down to run through your printer. So I'm actually gonna write a note, large cutoff piece, just so that I remember. Um, can use the large cutoff piece. And matter of fact, we are using large cutoff pieces to mat these. So those are the only two pieces, uh, only two pages you're gonna need. I think that's the only thing I printed out, period. So we're gonna make an envelope for each one of these. I think, well, first thing we're gonna do, and we are gonna add magnets. Oh, on the back side of this, I, so there's the template, right? So I scored here, folded it, I inked, around and I inked this part a little heavy just because I didn't print anything on this side. It's just white cardstock so I inked it up just a little bit more and I inked that score mark there. Um, but what we're going to do first is I've even got my notes here. Don't close this until you put a magnet saver. <laughs> so I'm going to burnish that down a little bit. I'm going to burnish this down and we're just going to attach this bottom piece for right now. Just like that. And I'm gonna burnish it just a little bit. Okay. Then, um, I've got all my magnets in my little crafty tray here. And since I bought those little small magnets the other day from Amazon, these are just quarter of an inch, I'm gonna use this teeny little magnet for this little envelope here because it really um, isn't gonna be holding much weight. It's just itty bitty. So I thought, let's do that. And before, I'm just gonna test it on the, I'm not gonna show you the other finished envelope, but I'm gonna test it really quick to make sure I have it going the right direction. And my allergies are once again just nuts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this up over top of that flap and I'm just going to mark it with my pencil. 
so that I know um, where I need to stay. And I'm also going to, we're gonna be punching like a hole reinforcement somewhere here in the middle, so I just need to not put it in the middle. I'm gonna put it over here to the left. So I think I will just add a little bit of tape runner tape and I'm gonna plop this right on top. Right there. All right, no big deal. See how it's over here to the left? Then I'm gonna use one of these magnet savers. These are linked down below. All of these little magnet savers. There's different sizes and thicknesses and that one seems thicker. I did a, spe a specific video for these as well. Um, if you want to check that out, I'll put it up there and down in the description box. Uh, but anyway, all of the resources are down below. And I'm just going to take my tape runner tape again and just put a little bit of tape on the back side of there, or either side, doesn't matter. And I'm going to stick it up under here, around about where I think. And I'm going to let the magnet pull it to the top here. Pull it to this um, this piece here, right here. So now we've got that magnet on the inside there. But I am going to put a piece of tape because it's right on the edge there. So I'm going to take some tape and I'm going to put it right at the edge just so inserts don't get stuck. And I don't think I've actually got the inserts ready for this. But there is an insert specifically for this. Okay, so now we can burnish this down and close the envelope. So now it should hold it closed. Just like that. Okay, so I am going to use a corner chomper, and you can use whichever one you want. I think I'm going to use the stub one, and I'm just going to do the uh, the flap here, the closure flap, like that, and then ink it up a little bit, both sides. I've already prepped the mat, sort of, and what I did was, this was a large cutoff piece. This was um, from a previous video, it was longer, like this. So it was the full 12 inches by three and a half, I think. So this is the large cutoff piece. So I needed two of them because I wanted both envelopes to match. So I cut another piece off another one. And what I do with it? So I cut it down to where I can run it through the printer. So hopefully I'll use this in that way because I did cut it down so that I could if I wanted to. But that's what this one is. It's the one with the cut apart pieces on the back side. But I still haven't used all of this one yet. <laughs> but I, I should. what I should do is take a minute and cut all that apart. But anyways. So um, I've got two of these, and then he, these are my leftover pieces. And then, whoops, what do I have here? Oh, I just got, <laughs> oh, that's why I kept this note. So then this piece, when I did the, um, when I did the foiling videos, I showed you some examples, and this was one of the examples. So I printed the green, and it was from the pastel green uh, vintage collage papers from this collection. This is in my Etsy shop and it was the solid page, the solid green page. And then I did the black script. I printed the black script in my laser and then I foiled it. So I wanted to use it on the back. I had printed, uh, this is from the pink, uh, vintage or pastel pink vintage collage, but so I didn't want to waste the whole thing. So I just traced the the flap part and we're going to mat the flat part with that foiled bit um 
because I didn't want to waste the whole page because, you know, of the back side. So there's the other piece of that. So I've already matted the one. And I'm just going to quickly do the stub chomper there. So I just traced these out. I didn't print these out. I traced these out uh, using the mats from my workbook. So that's going to go there. I don't think I need to do anything else at this exact moment before I, I mat. So I'm going to go ahead and attach these down. See how it's, I feel like I'm wasting that pretty printed side, but that's why I didn't do the whole sheet. I was going to print the both. I was going to print and have the whole thing, not use this, but have the whole thing, you know, matted with the foiled script, but changed my mind because I didn't want to waste the back side. We could use that for like um, a tag or something instead. Okay, so I'm just going to do... Well, I guess let's do it this way. Just gonna mat this a little bit. A little bit. I'm just gonna mat the flap. Looks so cute. And then I'm gonna mat the back. Pretty sure I want to match them up, so I'm trying to keep the pattern correct. Could totally you could um, put pictures back here you could do some journaling let's see let me find a three by four uh, you could put a three by four photo mat on the back side of these these are from the add-on photo mats you could do one and then do some journaling up here if you wanted to okay, I'm gonna put that away move this out of the way okay so I am gonna do reinforcement and let me burnish this down a little bit better around that magnet I'm gonna open it up and I'm gonna use my ruler and I'm gonna grab my foiled hole reinforcement and let's see I'm just gonna mark the center and I'm gonna use the, not the green foil, I'm going to use the green foil on the back side, but this is the, just the regular foil with the brown. And I'm going to place that over where I marked. And I'm going to use my little power, power punch. Is that what this is called? This is not called a power punch. This is called, what is this called? This is a We Are Memory Keepers, but it's like a cuts the it punches the right size hole for hole reinforcements but it'll go through many 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 layers with very little effort which I like all right so I'm gonna flip this on this side and put one of the green foiled just like that okay all right so then the next thing is whoops we have a few options and I'm going to grab some twine that we've been using and I'm going to grab the butterfly. This is the one of the paper clay butterflies that we made in the last video. It's, it's cute, right? Um, I put, uh, I don't know, I was thinking about maybe using this, I can't think of what they're called at the moment. What are they called? What are they called? Garment pen to dangle it but I don't like it as much I don't think so I'm just gonna use the twine but I wanted to show you that was an option okay but I like the twine better so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the twine I'm gonna fold it in half run it through the whole reinforcement I think I did this the right way where I'm not going to make it tight yet, but I'm going to grab some something to open this jump ring up just a little bit. Whoops! <laughs> just 
just a little bit and I'm going to try to thread it through this loop, just that loop that we created there. And then I'm going to close it back up. Whoa. And then I'm going to pull this tight. So we have something that looks like that. I may have to put some glue or something on there. Isn't that adorable? Okay. So I have got two that are like this. Right? Isn't that cute? I think I'm going to put them in this array. And I kind of like these little dangly bits. This one might be a little longer than that, so let's cut these back just a little. So this one is going to go here. Like that. Oh my gosh, that looks so cute. And then this one is going to go here. Like that. Oh, they look so cute. What do you guys think? I think that's adorable. Okay, so there's one insert. And then while I was looking at the different uh, options I have for other pages for matting other things, I ran across the um, oops, these flowers packets. Remember, we used this one. And so I, I have the packet, a package from using this one. And I thought, well, we're going to be using one of these on the cover at least, right? And it would probably be this one because I think this one is beautiful. Well, they're both beautiful, but I'm not going to lie. <laughs> they're both super pretty. I'm probably going to end up using both of them somehow. But this is a perfect size for a very large, narrow tag. So... What I'm going to do, and if you don't have these flowers, uh, let me go ahead and give you the measurements. It is nine and a half inches long by three and a quarter inches wide. So here's what I did with my other package. I made a really long tag. See the top there? Well, come on camera. There we go. Right? So here's the back side. I covered it with coffee stained paper and I wanted to show you that it is the tag. And focus. So there is the, I didn't um, close the bottom. It says pretty mosaic. I think it says spinal. Number 646851, right? So I thought they'd be making, because this side, all of this is just white and I covered, I flipped the paper and covered just this top part here that looks like this. Right? So let's make another one. I thought it was super cute. And I just need the package. Oh, I better write what number this is so when I go to use it, I can tell you guys. So this is number 64684. Pretty mosaic. A adventure. I don't know how to say that. Uh, no, I spelled it wrong already. A B E N T U R I N E. Okay. So I'm gonna put this one away <laughs> for now. Okay. So I just need the packaging. It's so cute. All right. Well, here's my coffee stained paper, and all I'm gonna do. Well, let me finish this one. Um, I'm going to add some tape along the edge here. And just burnish that down. Okay, so on the back side here, I'm just going to do tape runner and go all the way around the edges. You could use liquid glue. You don't have to use tape runner. And I think I'm going to put some down the middle here. And let me make sure I get the right color. Okay, so I'm going to attach it down to the darker side. 
match up that bottom edge. Trim that straight off. Right along that edge there. Boom. I'm going to round these corners so I don't forget. The, the bottom is rounded. Okay, so then I'm going to run tape along this top edge here and right at that writing right there and along these edges. And we're just going to fold it over. Oh, did I ink that? Um, might have inked it a little bit. So I'm just going to fold that over and I'm going to burnish. And I'm going to ink it up. Isn't this the cutest insert? You could do lots of journaling on here. You could add photos if you wanted to. This is like zero waste. Well, except for the plastic packaging. And I bet you we could probably, um, probably find something to do with that as well. I just thought it's a super cute tag. So I think I'm gonna mark it this way, the center. Actually, let's just lay it right on top of each other. And I'll mark it like this. Boop, boop, boop. And then I'll get those whole reinforcements again using the green. Because I like it next to the coffee stained paper. I think it's super pretty. Punch a hole. Flip it over. Grab another one. Black and white baker's twine. How do, I, how do I get this to go right? Do I go like this? Yep. And then I shall cut it off to be the same length. And then voila! Cute is that? I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. Oh, those look so good. Check that out, you guys. Okay, I love it. I love it. Love it. And I think that's all it needs. I think that's just perfect. I think that looks great. I love, love the style of insert. Okay, so I've already prepped some things for the inside, so I'm going to gather those and I'll be right back. Okay, so for this inside flap, I needed to cover these and I wasn't quite sure how I wanted to do that. So I took, this is one of the large cutoff pieces. It's one of the mosaic papers that uh, or have like mosaic pieces, right? And so then I just carefully like, I kind of took my pencil first and like drew a line, like a pattern or, or not a pattern, but like um, which way I wanted to cut. So I drew a line and then I cut on that line and made two pieces. And I thought I used the mat for this page. This is the a large cutoff piece and there's the other piece. I used the mat for this page to get the height, but I thought it might be cute on either side of the striped. I just thought it was a really pretty like contrast. And then maybe to have like a photo. A three by four photo mat 
on there. I just thought it would be cute. And then we could like do journaling on the stripes. So I'll demonstrate that just a second. So I will just go along the straight edges. This is art glitter glue. When you, when you leave something as a tuck, you want to make sure you don't have like a, a dry adhesive because you don't want your, you don't want your, whatever you're tucking in there to get stuck. So I'm going to come like I was matting this whole page. Like that, and let's do the same on this side. Okay, so this piece is going to go down here, and I think I'm going to keep them straight. I thought about doing them wonky, but I think I'm going to keep them straight. And I'm going to use tape runner to attach these down. Okay, I don't know if you can tell or not. Oops, I just moved my candle. Come back, candle. I'm gonna scoot you in. I just wrote on here, you see it says journaling. So wouldn't that be cool? To use those small stripes as journaling lines like you could just write out whatever it is whatever going on in this photo or whatever is going on in this whole setup um, I just thought that would be uh, that would be a really good way to journal so you could do that here and you can also do it <laughs> over here right so that's like a quick and easy little journaling spot I think I think it's a good idea okay so let me gather some other things I didn't do something for every page but um, and I haven't got the inserts ready for this yet Okay, so I haven't planned out uh, everything for these pages, but I have done something for the ones that have the printed background on them. Um, I haven't decided what I want to do on the fronts of these yet. So, for this page, I found one of the uh, embellishments from the embellishment pack. This pretty flower one. I just love the contrast of the background designs and the pretty flowers that are in this collection. Even with the stripes, it just looks so pretty. So I thought I would just take the three by four photo mats and just do like a little, like a little setup like this on this page. And I just think it's simple. These are just on plain copy paper. Again, this is page 13D and the add-on photo mats. So I thought I would try to find the center and attach this down first. And I have to use my monitor, I think. So I think I'm going to use some liquid glue. I did ink the edges of this. I don't think I trimmed any extra off of this. But um, I just thought it was the perfect size for these photos. These photo mats, anyway. Okay, does this have it up and down? I think it does. Okay, so I'm gonna use my monitor and I'm gonna try to find the center here. Nope. Does that look right? Does it look straight? I can't tell. So then this is gonna go here like that. And then this one will go here like that. Right? Cute, simple, and it looks really nice. I really like it. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and tape these down. But anyway, I just love the way that looks. It's so simple. Put your two photos there and they're the, the stars of the show your two photos so I just think that's super cute and super easy okay so then the next one I did open some flowers up besides those other ones so the next one we're gonna put back here I opened two packages one of them was just like this all this green and then the other one was a mixture of I don't know if that one was in that or that of different um, of different colors and they're a little bit flatter. So one of them is the 
Pretty Mosaic Jade, which is, I'm pretty sure this one. So it's item 646974. And then the other one is item 646899. So I kept the packages in there. And we could probably use those as tags as well. Huh? Because they're exactly, excuse me. <laughs> they're exactly the same. Um, I bet they're too big for, oh, no. Well, they're too small. They're too short for those pockets. But we could totally use these for tags as well. So I'm going to put them in my Crafty Companion for use. Okay, so. I had <laughs> picked out a couple flowers, but I think I'm going to take off these big beads that are in the middle because it might be a little too bulky for inside this. And it's about a good quarter of an inch. Can you see that? A good quarter of an inch up. So I'm going to remove that gently. I'm going to try to. Yep. There we go. Oh, and I took a leaf. Look at there, <laughs> a leaf. I took a petal. Okay, I'm gonna stick that in here. And I'm gonna do the same for this. So I'm trying to decide. It might be kinda cool to do like a bit of a wax dot there, maybe. Or we could do a wax dot, or we could do a, we could do one of these. Maybe we could do one of each. So this is a rusted brad. Whoops. Oh no. My corn starts just getting all over the place. Wait, well, I didn't. So maybe we could do. Do you think I can poke a hoe or do you think I should glue it? Let's try poking hoe. But, but while we're doing that, let's melt a little bit of wax in my on my candle here. Let me find my spoon. And I'll just get one little bead. We won't need that much. And let's experiment. Let's just see. Now, I have already done, before I had done, little wax dots on, um, and I placed them on glue dots. So, come on. Where I had dropped little dots onto the, like, um, non-stick, non-stick, non-stick craft mat. And then I peeled them up and put them on little glue dots. So we could probably do that instead, but I wanted to show you. Um, how to do it in this video so I actually should probably then get my nonstick craft mat back out and let me move the book so I have a flat surface I'm gonna try to get it in the center here but then I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna do a very good job it's not 100% melted I'm nervous. I'm afraid that whole thing is just going to come out. Let's try it over here on the mat. Okay. Okay. Let's try it now. Oh, that's cute. That's super cute. I have the fan going and I think it's drying it. But you just want to place little dots. Yeah, see how the fan is like making it stringy? So turn your fan off. You make little dots. Like that. Okay, sorry about that. I had to take a phone call. My son called. Um, but anyways, <laughs> so this is probably dry by now. <laughs> it is. And so is this. Which is fine. Um, just peel that off there and put it back in here. But if my fan wasn't blowing, you can make these nice, neat little dots and put them on glue dots, and then you'll have them for later. So, just like I did here, I just put them on some little mini glue dots. I've got a bunch, and um, you can attach them to any project. So, I thought that would be a cute way to add a little bit of something. You could use the glue dot and foil like we've done before. 
Just remember to use cornstarch to de-stick that glue dot if it's gonna be coming in contact with another glue dot. But I think this will be cute, just like that. And then this one, I'm gonna have to poke a hole, I think. I could glue, oh, don't fall. I could glue it, you know, cut the bread part off and glue it. But let's try this first. Just poke a hole right through there. Where'd the bread go? And take the bread, open her up. So these are flatter, and that's kind of what I wanted. I just wanted them to be a little bit more flat instead of having this big giant bead. Whoa, beads are falling off. Oh, little seed beads. Little seed beads. You could use sequins. If you had some sequins, you could glue a little bit of sequins in there. You could use, oh, you know what we could have used? We could have used a say it in crystal, although these are a little thick. Some of them aren't, but we could have used a say it in crystal. Those are kind of flat. They're maybe an eighth of an inch thick. Aw. You could use a say it in crystal instead of the brad. Should we do no, I kinda like the brad. We could have done that instead of the wax. Um shoot. Okay. Well anyway, I forgot we had these. We'll have to use those soon. Okay. So I'm gonna move this stuff out of the way. So we're gonna start using some more flowers, in case you didn't pick up on that. So I thought we would put this five by seven. This is from the add-on photo mats. This is page one AC, just on plain copy paper. So it's thin and I stamped it five by seven and I inked the black edge just cause again, I did not cut it well. And we'll put this, this is this is from the six by six paper pad. Remember where I cut little bits off, there's the back side. Um, where I cut little, it's like little embellishments. It says, you are, <clears throat> you are amazing. And I ink the edges. So what is stuck here? So I just thought we would add a few little flowers, maybe like this or something. I can't, since it's on a, since we're on a, um, a, uh, not a flat surface, it's not wanting to stay where I want it to stay. But that's what I'm thinking. But not glue it to where it's going to interfere. I could do something like this. Oh, we don't want to cover up the A part. Okay, so let's start with attaching the 5x7 photo mat. Well, we're just going to leave it. I got slightly crooked, but we're going to leave it. And then I'm going to use, um, not, I'm not going to use this. You could use this glue, but I'm going to use Fabri-Tac or Fabri-Fix. When I use, uh, when I use thicker embellishments like these flowers and things, I like to use a thicker, um, a thicker glue. So I think I'm going to attach these. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to have it like at an angle. I'm gonna attach the flowers onto this first, I think. Maybe not. Well, let's attach this first to, again, I don't wanna get it onto the surface where the photo is gonna to have to slide down. So I'll put that at a bit of an angle. Then I'm gonna take a good glob of the Fabri-Tac. Like that. Yeah. Just something simple and cute. Okay, I think I will stop this video here. Um, I don't really know what I want to do on this page and this page yet. I've got some ideas for an insert here, so I will work on that and maybe we'll do that in the next video. Or maybe I already have done it and just explained it to you. I'm not really sure. But I really, really, really love the way our envelopes turned out. Our two little insert envelopes and our recycled packaging uh, inserts. I really love the way they turned out. I think they look amazing. So let me know what you guys think in the... Thanks. 
<laughs> Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.